Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone. Uh, today going to go over a purchase I made off a viewer of the channel, uh, Mike, who sold me his collection. Thank you for letting me showcase it here. I'm uh, going to really just focus on three of the cards from the collection and sort of use that to go over the process of determining what I can pay and then, uh, you know, getting the card graded and then what I'll, you know, ultimately expect to sell it for. And, and we'll run through all the numbers on all of that uh, towards the end here. But Mike reached out saying he had a collection to sell uh, via email. He emailed me and he sent this picture saying he was looking to sell his collection, which was basically just these 20 cards here. And, you know, first glance, there's a lot of great stuff here. Uh, the two big ones, of course, are the Bird Magic Rookie and the Gretzky Rookie up there in the top. But there's plenty of other goodies here. Uh, Dr. J Rookie, Walter Payton Rookie, Reggie Jackson Rookie, Mario Lemieux Rookie, and uh, and a bunch of others. So we went back and forth a little bit on email and set up a phone call. And on the call, Mike explained that he had he was the owner of these cards for a long time, you know, decades. But he really didn't he didn't have like a full grasp of the hobby today. He didn't really know how to assess condition on the cards. Uh, he said the cards were all basically in nice condition. They didn't really have major flaws. And he's sort of asking what I thought I could pay. And I told him straight up, uh, you know, on a collection like this, this is not really a collection I can assess from pictures what I would pay. Is that the, the condition is going to swing things very, very heavily in, in one direction or another. Some of these cards can be worth big bucks in if they're in ultra high grade, uh, but, you know, ver worth very little in low grade and, and all, all sorts in between. So this is the kind of collection I would need to see in person. On top of that, some of these cards could be fakes. The Wayne Gretzky is one of the most faked cards in all the hobby. The Lemieux has fakes. The Walter Payton has fakes. The Bird Magic has fakes. Uh, so I'd have to see them in person to, to know that. And and they could also, you know, be trimmed or altered in other ways, as these are cards that often do have trimming issues as people are trying to, you know, increase the increase the grade of them. So I told him this would, you know, again, this would be something I would need to see in person. Now, he understood this, although he did ask for sort of a ballpark general range, and that's really, really tough to do with these sort of cards. So I, I came up with the range of 1500 to 3500 uh, now, to be clear, 1500 the cards would basically have to be more or less damaged. You know, maybe I'll have back damage or something like that. But I sort of put that in there as the low end to sort of protect myself. And I thought 3500 would sort of be the high end if they were sort of mid to upper grade on average. Uh, and then I and then I said, look, if, if any of these are like really high grade, the number could go up from there. But my best guess would be in the 1500 to $3,500 range. And uh, I felt that that was sort of being, you know, pretty safe. So he agreed to ship me the cards, and as always, I said, look, if the, you know, the price I can pay after I look at the cards is, is too low for you, I'm very happy to just ship them back, and, you know, we're each out a few bucks in shipping costs, no big deal, and, uh, yeah, he shipped me the cards, and uh, I went through them, and, yeah, they were basically sort of upper, well, we'll say mid-grade, but on the better side of mid-grade. Here is the uh, the Gretzky, uh, as you can see, it's a little off-centered, with some slightly tipped corners, but pretty, pretty nice. Uh, the Bird Magic was a, was really nice, off-centered as well, top to bottom as you look at the card here, but otherwise pretty sharp. Uh, the Walter Payton was also, uh, you know, pretty strong. So I told him that I thought there were six cards worth grading, I meaning it made it made financial sense to get these cards graded. You'll increase the value of the card uh, by more than the grading fee if you send them in. And those are the six cards um, highlighted here. Everything in this collection was a rookie except the card in the lower right. So 19 of the, the 20 cards were rookies, but the six cards I thought were grade-worthy were the Bird Magic, the uh, Julia Serving rookie, the Gretzky, the Walter Payton, the Mario Lemieux, and the uh, the Reggie Jackson. The other 14 cards, for the most part, were in the same kind of condition, sort of, you know, average of about a six. And they're, they're mostly $20 cards, maybe $30 cards or so. And, you know, it just, it just wouldn't make financial sense to send these kind of, these level of cards in for grading uh, to pay $20 fee and wait three months. There's not enough uh, increase in value there to, to justify it. And based on, you know, my expected grades, what, what I would expect them to get from PSA, I priced out the collection as this. I said, these are the six cards that I would send in for grading. Here's what I would offer on each one. And then on the 14 other cards uh, down at the bottom, I'd pay a total of $220. So on, in total, I would pay $3,090 for this collection. And you can see my predicted grades on each card there. Uh, the way I got to these prices are, so the Gretzky I thought would be a six. If you look towards the bottom there, the white number in the middle of the six is 1242. Uh, that's sort of the average of recent sales of PSA sixes. I actually think this card, uh, I, th I think that's kind of on the low side. Uh, I, I would expect it to be more like 1500, as there were a couple sort of n really random low sales recently that sort of uh, t uh, tweaked that number down. But yeah, that's uh, what I valued the Gretzky at, expecting it to get a six. The Bird Magic, I actually think would get a seven. I uh, would predict it would get a seven. And you can see uh, sevens average about 1,200, or that's the average of recent sales of a PSA seven. And I thought that was about about right. And then the Walter Payton, I thought would be a six. Uh, and you can see the average of recent sales for a six is a little under 400. So that's how sort of how I valued those three 
given uh, what I would expect them to get grading wise. And that's how I came to the numbers that I would offer uh, for the collection. Here was the email I sent Mike explaining all this and I included the attachment of the Excel spreadsheet, breaking it down card by card. And Mike, uh, Mike basically agreed to this, although he said there were three cards he wanted to keep because he had a personal attachment to them and you know I wasn't able to pay very much for them. So I uh, shipped him back the Dan Marino, uh, the Julius Serving, and the Reggie Jackson rookies. Uh, of course, fine with that. And we just adjusted the price down accordingly, but otherwise I uh, got the deal done. All right, so I sent the Gretzky, the uh, the Bird Magic, and the Walter Payton into PSA. And so those are the three cards we're going to sort of track here. This is the uh, order coming back. Uh, there's also a fourth card in here, a second Gretzky uh, Tops rookie. But, uh, yeah, we, we can ignore that for the purposes of this video. But, yeah, four cards here, three from the the, uh, the purchase from Mike and one other. And remember, I had predicted uh, six on the Gretzky, seven on the Bird Magic, and six on the Walter Payton. So let's see how I uh, how I did here. The bird magic got the seven. Then that was what was predicted. Uh, you can see the centering's off left to right, and that's really the only major sort of notable issue. Uh, it's not perfect otherwise. There's some really, really light surface stuff, and the lightest of light tipped corners, you probably can't even make it out here. But uh, yeah, seven, actually, I was pretty confident in a seven here. Eight seemed like a really long shot, and six even seemed just kind of too low. So seven just seemed like the right, the right grade here, and yeah. PSA, uh, you know, in my opinion, got this one right. And there's a big difference in value between a 7 and an 8. But uh, like I said, 8 just was a was a real long shot. This Gretzky here, this was not from the deal. This is the second Gretzky. This one got a 5. But we'll just speed this up here for the purposes of this video here. Uh, the Walter Payton got a 7. And I had predicted 6 on this. Uh, I think 7 is reasonable. 6 would have been my first guess. 7 would have been my second guess. Like if I was putting this on the sheet for a, a reveal, it would have been 6 slash 7 with six being the most likely, but yeah, got a, got a seven here, and it's a, it's a nice looking card, a little bit off-center, left to right, sort of very, 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 very minor issues here and there, but nothing major, obviously, for a seven. Lightly tipped corners, some, you know, not perfect centering on the back, some really, really light surface issues that you probably can't even see in the video here, but yeah, seven, I think, is uh, fair, but, I, you know, I, again, I predicted six, and the Gretzky from the deal, I had predicted six, and it got a six, and uh, again, centering is sort of the issue here, left to right, notably off-centered left to right and really really lightly tipped corners particularly on the two bottom corners but overall a very very solid mid grade or you know you can say mid upper grade upper mid grade card here so uh, of the three cards two of them were the grades I predicted and one actually got one grade higher than what I predicted so that's obviously a, uh, a nice overall result um, there for the, the PSA orders all right so just to review real quick the Gretzky got a six and had, uh, had predicted six the bird magic got a seven and had predicted seven and the Walter Payton got a 7, and I had uh, predicted a 6. So here's what the overall numbers of these three cards only look like. Not the entire deal, just these three cards. Uh, you can see I paid $21.75 for these three cards, and I'm going to sell them for estimate. The selling is estimated because I haven't actually sold them yet. But I'm estimating I'll sell them for about $3,250. So if you just look at that, you might say, well, you're making over $1,000. But you got to factor in the grading fees, and you got to factor in the seller, the seller fees, which I estimated at 13%. Uh, based on you know what platform uh, platforms I'll use now, I might be able to do a little bit better than 13%, but that's probably roughly what it'll be. And that means my overall profit on just these three cards should be about $440, $443, as you see there. And that represents about a 20% return on my initial purchase. Now, a couple things to mention: you know, 20% return is you know often not going to be enough for for it to be worthwhile for me to purchase a collection, but uh, with these particular cards, I mean, these are blue chip cards. They're in solid condition, you know, 6-7 range. And these are type of cards that are, are very easy to sell. They're, you know, blue chip cards that everybody wants. And they're also cards you can sometimes hold out and get a little bit over market value because, like I said, there's a lot of people who want it. So there's a high demand for them. So these are type of cards that I'm willing to, to buy on much thinner margins. Now, I also was taking quite a risk here. I mean, if, if any of these came back a grade or, or even two grades lower than I had predicted, or you know, or let's say one was marked as trimmed or something like that, I could have actually been operating at a break even or a loss very easily here. But I was quite confident in the grades. Uh, I looked those cards over closely. I measured them really closely. I was, I was pretty sure that there was not going to be a, a hidden surprise in, in a downside grade. So I was sort of willing to, to pay up and uh, you know work on tight margins here. But that's it. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you Mike for uh, allowing me to showcase your collection here. And if anybody has any questions about any of this, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments as always and I'll be happy to, uh, to answer as best as I can. But until next time, have a, a great rest of your day. Thanks everyone.